Hello, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you how to reuse a Power BI file from our site. Um, if you have another file, it's not from Curval.com, it's no problem, you can still follow the same steps. So let's go to our site and let's say that, for example, you have downloaded our growth dashboard. It looks like this. You have to go a little bit further down and then here you have the button download Power BI file. It's not very big so it will download quite fast. You just click on it. And the file will open. As you can see it doesn't really look like the same in the example because I have used uh, like fake uh, website for, for the connection. But don't worry, that's not uh, important. The important thing is that you can connect your own uh, website. This particular dashboard doesn't have a custom visual, but just to get rid of this banner, we click here. And now we're going to edit the source file. The source file, to access it, you have to click on edit queries. And here you have sessions and the date table. You see that there's data. This is uh, data from this uh, small uh, test site I have. So you don't want this, you want your own data. To see really the source file, you will go here to view and then advanced editor. And here you can see tons of numbers. So I explain in the in the blog post on the website, uh, we go there. Here on how to reuse a Power BI file. Down here I have what all those things are, all those numbers. So we have uh, the account number or account name. That's the one. And where do you find that in Google Analytics? So here you have under account settings, you will find the account ID. Under the property settings, you will find the tracking ID, which is the number two. And under the view settings, you will find the view ID. So here we have the account number, the tracking number, and the view number. Now, I wouldn't recommend to do this directly because sometimes, I don't know if it's Google Analytics or Power BI, it chooses the number, sometimes it chooses the name, and you don't know really. So the best way to do this is to create a connection to see how it's actually taking in the data. So you go to Home. I have it as a recent source. The account will pop up here. So we will take just session direction and session, for example, you have to have a metric and a dimension always, otherwise nothing will load. Okay. The new connection will load. And now we can see how they pick it up. And then you can copy these up to here and paste it in your in the real table. So the ones that you need, you take the same here, you remove that and you paste in the new one and then done. And then it will load from your data. It's as easy as that. And then you take the date table and you do exactly the same thing. You take that. If you see that it's like that, make sure that you take a space. So, delete, paste, and done. And now you don't need this table, so you can actually delete it. Delete. You press close and apply, and it will load your data into the dashboard. It will 
all the formulas will work, everything will work, which will be your numbers instead of mine. So, and here you have all the formulas instead of doing them by hand, you can just reuse my file. So, that's it for today. If you load the file and you have problems, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye.